Hey True Believers, this is Dr. T and welcome to my comic book channel. Today I have a Kevin Eastman signed CGC Signature Series unboxing of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one. Stay tuned. So those of you that have seen videos on my channel notice that I'm in a different location right now. We have moved from Utah to Virginia. Behind me I have uh, bins of action figures on my right and on my left I have all of these turtle figures out over here, over here. This uh, last Ronin number one, uh, fourth printing, signed by the last Ronin team with six signatures, five remarks, all with the Ninja Turtle colors of Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael, and Leonardo, as well as this white splinter signed with the, the signature signed by Kevin Eastman right there that was in one of my previous videos. I also have this book that I recently showed in my latest video, also a Last Ronin number one convention edition with those five remarks and six signatures as well. Of course, I talked about how the label is messed up and they only put one and a half of the artist's names on there and left off all the rest so I have to send this back. I haven't done it yet, haven't had time. But in this box I have the third print of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one from 1985 remarked and signed by Kevin Eastman. I sent this book to CGC back in middle of February. The signing wasn't until I believe the end of May and I'm just getting it back now in August because the book was pressed. There was some pressable defects on the back of the cover. I had this book pressed before, but those defects, for whatever reason, didn't come out. I thought they were pressable, and I think I have a nice high-grade copy of that book here, surrounded by these turtle action figures. So let's get in to this box. I was also going to mention since we just moved, this is a storage room, kind of functions as a basement, but it's just off of the garage. This is a storage room, and I have the, the 34 short boxes of comics that way. I have the bins of CGC books right over here, and all of these are action figure bins around me. And as normal, when I do an unboxing on this channel, I do not know the grade of the book. I have not looked at it. and. Based off of my evaluation of this particular book, I think I have, if the pressing worked, I could have up to a 9.2. If the pressing didn't work, and those that waviness on the back black cover weren't able to come out, I could have as low as, as maybe even an 8.0. I thought this book was definitely 9.0 material. But like always, I could be wrong, but I'm hoping that I have a nice near minty-ish grade of this book. And I have been waiting to get this book back for all these months, hoping, hoping that it is what I thought it, it was going to be. I bought this book, gosh, how, how long has it been? Probably four years ago for $175 and as far as I know, the book wasn't restored. Never want to see that purple label, especially on a book that, that we don't know is restored. But here we go. Nervous, nervous, nervous. So no purple label, that's good. Make sure I don't unveil the grade. So let's see. Oh, that is so good. I requested a shredder remark, and that is a shredder there, because this is not just the first appearance of the turtles. This is a first appearance of shredder and splinter as well. And I asked Kevin Eastman to do a shredder remark, and there it is. That is so sweet. It's only covering one of the turtle's faces, really, but he had it, he got it up there. And if you're wondering why my arm's always over here, it's because if I do it over here, I have the shadow on my face. Let's see. Like, I can make that work right there. That works. Okay. Never mind. 
So you have that shredder remark right up there in the corner. He signed his name on one of the turtle's faces, but that's okay. You now have that QR code on the back of all the graded books, signed and sketch by Kevin Eastman on 5-27-22, third printing origin and first appearance of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Splinter and Shredder wraparound cover. And there's the back. Okay, what are we gonna have here? <sighs> this way, this way. Let's try it right here. All right. Whew. Here we go. What is it? 929080. That waviness looks like it could have got out of it. I mean, this is a crispy book. This is a crispy book. If this got a 9-4, I would lose my mind. But let's see. Conservatively, here we go. Awesome remark that I requested. Holy moly. In blue pen. You've waited long enough, true believers. Three... Two, one. That is a 9.4 Ninja Turtles number one third print. Holy moly. Holy moly, true believers. 9.4, that pressing worked out. This is a crispy copy of this book that I bought for $175. They got that waviness out of the book. That is a flat, of course, I, I don't expect you to be able to see it on the screen there, but that is a flat, crispy cover, crispy corners. There's one small color break up here, very tiny one. Apart from that one small color break up here, there are a couple there are small little indentations on the spine. They're not terrible, but there's a few just along here. But they they are not super prominent. But the corners, one of the things I, I really noticed about this book that made it really striking is that these corners are so sharp on the front and the back. There's a little bit of wear on this bottom corner here, but it's not too bad, especially considering this is a magazine size book. But this is, I remember seeing this book and thinking, what a sharp copy. I could not pass it up at the time. I'm so glad I didn't. And I wish you could see this shredder remark on this cover. I mean, if there was going to be a spot to put it, it would be up right here in the city, right here on these buildings as he's looking down on the turtles. Yes, you have one of the turtles covered, but that's that, you know, that that doesn't bother me too badly. I mean, with that, with that huge shredder meat remark, I mean, this is fantastic, just fantastic. Now I'm curious, and I want to, and I'll be, I'll, we'll be back in just a moment with the recent GPA analysis of this book. I've got to see it. So here's some GPA analysis of a universal grade of this third printing of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one from 1985, and. It has six sales this year. This is just, again, this is just the universal grade of this of this book. July 26th, $1,400. July 8th, $1,900. June 13th, $1,140. April 10th, 1703. January 29th, 1675. So the two most recent sales are quite good. $1,400 and $1,900 for this book. And then the signed edition of this book Remarked by Kevin Eastman. Uh, this these these say sketched by, but they're 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 in fact remarks. So this shredder, that is massive, and I just love the blue. It, it really comes across silvery, just like just like shredder, uh, just just ominous figure over over the turtles in in the book, and so the signed by Kevin Eastman. There has been one sale this year for $2,399. And then there were two sales in 2021 for this book, signed and remarked by Kevin Eastman, 1950 and $2,000. So it looks like I have a book worth around $2,000. So like I said before, the cost of this book when I bought it raw was 175. The cost to have it 
graded. The processing fee, shipping and handling was 129 total. So I am in $304 on this book, which is likely a $2,000 comic. How do I sell this minty copy of this book? I cannot believe what this looks like. Holy <laughs> true believers, that is incredible. Put this one side by side with this one with all those turtle colors. Boy, that is absolutely incredible. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I have. And true believers, remember as always, comics for life.